Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a paracord bracelet. It looks like this, and I have some more. I have these ones as well. But in this video, I'm going to be making a blue one. I'm going to be using this color. So I'm just going to get right into it. So what you'll need is, um, you'll need a lighter. I'm just using this big one. I think you can use the hand ones, but I've never tried it, so you can experiment with that. Some paracord, which you can get at Michael's, or we got them at uh, another store called Smith & Edwards. Is over, um, I think it was by Brigham City, I think. Anyways, so paracord, a buckle, a clipboard would be nice. I have my clipboard right here. And a spoon. I know it's a weird object, but you'll need that. And then some scissors. So that's all you need. So let's get started. So first, you're just going to take your paracord and um, make sure that the ends are burned. So this one, as you can see, is burned already. That's just how it was. Most of them, they'll be burnt when you get them. Uh, but this end's not. So I'm just going to cut off the ends. that are not burnt and you can just throw that away okay and then um, take your lighter and just burn it a little bit lick your fingers and push it down you want to push it down as hard as you can, but don't leave your fingers on like that. Just go like this. So now both of your ends should be burnt and look like this. So um, now you're going to want to um, grab your buckle. You can set everything aside. You just Right now you just need your paracord and your buckle. So. And you're going to need about 8 feet of paracord. Mine's a little over 8, but that's totally fine. And you're just going to want to kind of get all the knots on done. And so you just have a long strip. And then you're going to make the two ends meet like this. Just go like this so that there's a, so there should be a little, um, loop right here and then you're going to take your buckle and um, string that loop through one of the holes through the one that has this big part this square part just like this mine's a little thick so it might take me one But yeah, I just loop it through there. I'm not going to film this part because it's going to take me a minute to get it through. So yeah, just loop it through. Something like this so the loops through this. So now you're just going to straighten this out. And then take these two ends and pull them through the loop. Like that. Pull it all the way through. So you have this nice knot like this. So now you're going to want to measure this to your wrist. So I'm going to be using a different angle. This angle works and you can see everything. I'll just kind of scoot this back a bit like this. So now I have this nice loop here as you can see. So I'm going to connect these two. Like this, so I just have this buckle and then this knot. So I'm going to straighten this out just so there's no twists. Take these ends and put them through like this. So you're going in like this. And just pull that. And But don't pull it all the way through, just pull it to about right here. 
And so now you're going to put your hand through this, and it's easier if you have another person, but I don't. You can still do it, so. So, it should look like this once you've moved those things away. So you're going to measure it to your wrist, like this, so just keep pulling on those ends, like this. And you're going to want to leave a little space. So this is what mine looks like. I've left a little space right here as you can see. So now you can just unbuckle it. That's usually what I do. But leave the buckle in the same place like this. Make sure that it's straight so there's no twists or anything right there. And then you can uh, clip this buckle onto your clipboard like this. And then taking these two st strings, these two, the two long ones that are just flowing, put one on the left side and one on the right. Just kind of straighten this out. So now we're going to start the actual braiding. So what you're going to do is take the left one, make a loop like this, and set it over these the two middle strands. So this is going to be our left strand. These are our two middle strands, the ones that are on the buckles, and this is our right strand. So you can just pull the left over here after you've made this loop. So after you've made this loop, take this right one, cross it over right here, over the loop, like this. So this is what it should look like. And then take that same right strand, cross it under those two middle strands, under the ones on the buckle, and up through the loop, like that. And so now we're just going to pull this through, like that. So now we're going to do the same thing, but with the other side. So now we're going to take the right strand, make a loop, like this. So you should have something like this. And then take this left strand, cross it over this, under the two middle strands, and up through the loop. Oops. Oh. So this is what it should look like. look something like that and if you get lost you see how there's this loop right there that's the one you're going to make the loop with so like this and then cross this over I can't really do it like this but you're going to make the loop when there's a loop that's the one you're going to loop with if you ever get lost so now just braid all the way down until you can't braid anymore so yeah I'm going to do that and then I'll get back to you after I do that Okay, so now as you can see, I've finished braiding, so this is what it looks like. So now I'm going to take these, and I'm going to pull them through here. So you're, fir you're going to want to take the biggest one through first, and make sure that when you pull it through, uh, that this is going to be the part that's on your... Uh, wrist or arm, so it's going to be right here, and this is going to be what you're going to see when you look at your bracelet, this part. And you're going to do the same thing with the other one, so just try and pull it through, and you can use tweezers if you think that will help. And this takes a while, so if you can't get it the first time, just keep trying, and if you really can't get it, then you can see if you can ask someone else to do it for you. That's what I had to do on my first try. I had to get my friend to do it. And yeah, tweezers help a lot. So yeah, I'm not going to film this part because it's going to take me a while. So yeah, just pull it through and then I'll show you what to do next. I just want to say one more thing before I um, proceed because I did get it through. As you can see, I got both of them through. So yeah, but if you're using a type of buckle like this one, like the colored ones, I got these at Michael's, but if you're using um, 
these black ones that you can get at like Michael's or any other store if it's black and it's flat like this everywhere it's just flat um, you won't need a glue gun but if you're using one like this this has this square on the top it, and all of them were colored um, then you're gonna want a glue gun because um, when you do the black ones you burn it and then it will stay on the buckle like this you push it down with your spoon so like this and it will turn out like that but if you're using a buckle like this one you have to glue it down because it won't stay to the buckle so yeah I'm just heating up my hot glue gun you can use E6000 or any other type of glue, it doesn't matter, I'm just using hot glue because that's basically all I have. So now you're going to take this, so I pulled them through as you can see, and you're just going to cut it off so there's just a little bit left like this. I don't know if you can kind of see that, but like this. And then take your lighter and have your spoon ready. So just put it like this. And you're going to want to uh, burn these for a while until the middle and the outsides are like really melted. And then when everything's really melted, grab your spoon and push it down onto the buckle. And if you're using the black buckles that you can get at Michael's, uh, it will just stay down like that. But, of course, mine didn't because I'm using this type of buckle. So if you're using the colored buckles that you get at Michael's, you're going to want to glue it down. If you're using the black ones, it should stay down. But yeah, so if you're using this type of buckle, then uh, just put some glue on there. I still have to wait for mine to heat up, but basically just put a, do a dollop of glue on there, push it down, and wait for it to dry. And then your bracelet is ready to use. So yeah, and I'll show you what it looks like after I've glued it down and... You saw it in the first clip, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys later. Bye!